Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I'm a self-employed mama of four. My husband and I are on a journey to become debt-free using a zero-based budget and the cash stuffing method because our biggest goal is to invest wisely and give generously. So if you're interested in learning more, stay tuned. I got a package in the mail and I have no idea what this is. So I thought I would open it on camera just to check it out and see what it is. Um, so I know who it's from. I'm just not sure what it is. So I thought it would be fun to just share the experience with you guys. And I know she's a subscriber and she's over on Instagram. So I know she'll see this video and I just think it's fun to watch her happy mail get opened on a video. So and I did just learn what she does for a living. So this card makes total sense because I can already kind of see what's in it. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I have a cousin that's just obsessed with cows. So she would absolutely love this. Oh my God, Nicole, are you kidding me right now? You guys are too good to me. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry again, you guys. <laughs> oh my God, seriously, Nicole, you are the sweetest. Emily, I hope this happy mail brings as much joy to you as all the wonderful items from your shop have brought to me. A girl can never have enough coffee, especially one that hustles as much as you. Thank you for sharing your creativity with the world. You have made such a positive impact in our financial journey, and for that I am grateful. You've inspired me to give more generously, and that is the Lord working through you in his wondrous ways. I know your next launch will be even more, wait for it, legendary. Oh my God, Nicole, stop it. You know how much I love how I met your mother. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. So this was actually, you had to be on the Instagram live. We were talking about how I met your mother and she had actually already sent me this during that time, but we, I, I made a couple references to how I met your mother. Anyway, okay, I gotta start over. I'm so distracted. Okay, I know your next launch will be even more, wait for it, legendary than any before, but as you get through this current one, make sure you treat yourself. I love it. Keep dreaming and crushing those goals. You have a whole community rooting for your success. Love, Nicole. Oh my gosh, this is like the cutest card too. And can I just like say, you have the most beautiful handwriting, Nicole. Like the most beautiful handwriting. Seriously, Nicole, thank you so much. This completely blessed me. We're leaving for our trip soon and I know that this is just going to be such a blessing on our trip and you are such a blessing. And you guys, I'm gonna share something about myself that I have never shared before and why I this kind of thing means so much to me. So you guys know gifts is my love language and it's not the actual gift, it's the thought behind the gift that makes me feel loved. But love language is set aside um, in my other business. I do a lot of like skill building and leadership training and one of the things that I did was called the Gallup Strength Finders test where you take this kind of long test and then it tells you what your top five strengths are and one of my top five strengths this is my number three strength is actually significance and what that means is that in order for me to find and have passion in what i'm doing i have to truly believe that i'm making a difference in other people's lives so that's what the significance theme or the significance strength means and so when I get notes like this and even like an Instagram message or an email, like you guys are seriously so amazing. It fuels my soul in a way that you will never understand because when I get messages and, and notes like that, it gives me that reassurance that I the work that I'm doing is making a difference in other people's lives because that's truly all that matters to me. Thank you guys so much. I know that you always say that I've made an impact on you, but you guys have made the biggest impact on me and I'll never be able to thank you for that. So. Thank you so much, Nicole. This literally made my day and you kind of, you know, opened a door for me to be a little bit vulnerable with you guys and share just a little bit more about me and um, kind of why I'm so passionate about doing all of this. It's truly because I just want to make a difference in people's lives. So that being said, let's go ahead and jump into today's cash condensing. This is my favorite kind of video to film, my favorite kind of video to watch. I'm just going to get started with our high priority sinking funds. And if you are new here, what I am doing right now is called a cash condensing, meaning the envelopes in my binders are getting pretty full with smaller denominations. And so I'm gonna swap them out for the bigger denominations. And so I have my placeholders here 
So when I hit a certain number, I will put the placeholder in the envelope and then set that cash aside. Some people put it back in their bank account. I personally just set it aside in a different binder, especially if I'm gonna be spending it relatively soon. So I'll explain more as I go, but that's basically what I'm gonna be doing right now. And then I have my 10s and my 50s. I should have maybe gotten 20s. I like never think about getting 20s, but it's okay. Well, we always figure it out. So I'm not gonna condense groceries. I don't, yeah, clothing just has a 50, so I can't condense that quite yet. Um, beauty. I'm not gonna condense beauty because I'm actually gonna be pulling out of here for my next unstuffing. So I'm just gonna leave that one alone for now. Households. Um, I'm gonna leave this one alone too. So some of these I do leave alone, like especially in the high priority binder because the high priority binder is usually where we spend more money out of. So I'm gonna move this up so you guys can see my binder better. I'm still working on getting a different underlay for my videos. I had ordered a few things and that I, I didn't really like it. So we're still working with kind of like our really zoomed in camera angle here, but it's fine, we're gonna make it work. Pet care, I don't believe can be condensed. And then I also do pull $1 bills out of my sinking funds when I do my condensing. You know what, I am gonna swap these out for a 50. It's about $50 when we go pick up dog food. So we have 120 in there still. Well, we had 123, but, and then I'm gonna put these into my $1 savings challenge. Self-care, I can't condense that. That has 30 baby needs. We can swap these out for a 20. I think Bristol's about ready to get potty trained, so we might not need this envelope much longer, which makes me kind of sad. All right, date nights. We have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So let's swap these out for a 50. I was gonna bring this with us on our trip, but I don't think I will. I think we've got plenty of other cash saved up. Vehicle maintenance, we've got 300, 400, 500. So that'll be a placeholder. Um, one, two, 100, 220. So let's take these out. Okay, so this should be 500. 150, 250, 350, 450, 500. So we will grab a fully funded, not fully funded, I don't know vehicle maintenance. Is it possible for vehicle maintenance to be fully funded ever? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna walk you guys through the process of what I do for um, putting my money aside. So I have, and these are coming to the shop with my next launch. I'm like, I gotta launch these before somebody watches my video and does it before me. Cause I've not seen these anywhere else. This is something I just made up for myself, but then people loved them and were asking. So I make these little vehicle maintenance or whatever category you have. Um, I make these and then keep this money in a separate binder, uh, which I'll explain at the end. So vehicle maintenance is now condensed. Seasonal lawn care, 51, 50, 70, 90, 210, 230. So... Hold on, I don't know why this math is hard. Okay. We're just gonna do this one by one because I have so many things on my mind right now that I'm like having a hard time concentrating. Okay, so I'm gonna swap this out for, this is gonna be kind of silly, but for two tens. And then I think what we'll do is swap this 100 out for a $100 bill. I know that was a little like the long way around, but that's okay. I think that was right. Cause I said, two, well, I said, did I say 250 or 230? It's fine. I know how much I took out of the bank and I'll catch that if I'm editing. I can't remember if I messed that up or not. I don't know why math is so hard today <laughs> and every day. 
Okay, so medical. So one, two, three, four, five hundred. So let's keep these $200 bills and we're actually gonna be able to swap all of this out. 100, 200, 300, 400. Three fifty four, four fifty five hundred. So we're gonna swap this five hundred dollar placeholder out for a one k. I'm gonna do the white one in this envelope. What? <laughs> I keep getting so distracted, you guys. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Now we have hockey. Hockey has 100, 152, 253, 354, 455, 530. So let's swap these two. I'm just gonna set these ones back here. Those two out for a 10. So 51, 52, 53, 54, 500. So again, I'm gonna set this aside for hockey. I think I have a hockey one. I do, maybe it's already in my binder. Okay, so then I'm gonna put a $500 placeholder in our hockey envelope. And this is definitely cash that I would not bring back to the bank because ironically, we've already spent it. Um, I This envelope technically owes my husband money because he bought Liam new ice skates and didn't bring the cash with him. So, all right, so hockey rink is fully funded. Our goal was 500, so I'm gonna count this up and then we're gonna put it aside 100 200 253 354 20 40 60 80 90 95 500 so hockey rink is fully funded and this is for our hockey rink that we build like ice rink that we build in our backyard during the winter time all right i just had to label my cash because i have multiple piles of cash and i don't want to forget what is what is for what so in tax prep, we have 100, 152, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 50, 55. So 355, so it should be 250. Well, let's do this. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 90, 200. I need to pay attention when I'm counting because I'm always counting cash, but like, not paying attention to what the final number is going to be. Ridiculous. All right, so we still have $355 in tax prep. And then miscellaneous can get condensed. Let's see, how do I want to do this? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So I think for sure I'm going to put a 100 in here. Um, I do want to keep a few smaller bills just because. Um, so 20, 40, so let's just swap these 12 for a 20. And then we'll keep a couple tens. I pull out of this envelope sort of often because I forget to budget for stuff all the time. So that looks a lot better. Oh, my binder feels so much happier. I love a good cash condensing. It feels so good every time. All right, next we're gonna do low priority. Eating out. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So I think I'm gonna leave two tens in here and then just swap this out for a 20. I'm gonna leave some cash home with my mom. So um, she's hanging with the kids and the dogs. And so I'm gonna leave some money home with her so she can order pizza if she wants to. Drinks. I think I'm gonna swap this out for 250s. I think this is 100 exactly. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, yeah. Let's swap this out for 250s. 50, 60, 80, 90, 100, yeah. My cash and Chris's cash already got stuffed at the beginning of the month, so obviously we're not gonna need to condense any of that. Kids only has five, family fun. I'm gonna leave these like how, I'm gonna leave these how they are. Actually, I'm doing my cash condensing next or my cash stuffing next. So let's swap this out for a 50. So 70 and family fun. All right, Antonio. 
Lucky's are little through Big Brothers Big Sisters. And this is just cash for us to go do fun stuff when he comes to hang out with us. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I think I'm going to leave the 250s in here. All right, birthday parties I know can get condensed. So one, two, three, four hundred, twenty, thirty. 20, 30. So we'll, oh, these ones are so, look at that. Yeah, $1 savings challenge, faux show. All right. So let's just swap this out for a 100. So now birthday parties has one, two, three, four hundred, twenty, and thirty. Gifts. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred. Um I'm trying to decide if I want to do a one hundred or two fifties in this. I think I'll do a one hundred. So we still have 100, 200, 250, 270. Home has nothing. Organizing, what do you have? 10, 20, 30, 40. So let's swap these out for 220s. 20, 30, 40, 50. Renovations cannot be condensed. Memberships is fully funded. Is this condensed all the way though? Yes, it is. So this one I'm just gonna leave alone until the new year and then we'll start stuffing that again. Okay, back to school, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65. So we'll do a 50, a 10, and a five, and then we'll swap these for a 50. And then travel, so we're gonna bring this money with us. I might backwards condense this into smaller bills, eh, I don't, I don't really need to do that. I'm not gonna condense this because we're gonna be taking this with us anyway. So, or maybe just some of it. I don't think we'll need to take all of it. All right, that's it for low priority. And then we'll do the holiday sinking funds. Okay, so Valentine's Day, I'm excited to condense these, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, so we'll swap these fives out for a 20. So you guys convinced me, I think going forward, I am going to have the aesthetic dollar at the bottom of all my envelopes. I just really like the way it looks. I think it's, I don't know. I just really like the way it looks. I don't know. I like it a lot, especially with this like new cursive font and then having that kind of more like classic font there. Script. I don't know. What do you call that? Not cursive. But yeah, I really like it. Okay. So 50, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. So this must be 100, if my math is correct. So we'll do 100 and swap these fives out for a 10. Perfect. So I talk about this a lot with these holiday sinking funds. I only stuff a little bit each week, but that's why they get full so fast. That's, I'm like doing it condensing. I feel like every month or every other month just because it... It just like accumulates. Okay, so 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. So we'll swap this out for a 50. A 
keep feeling like I need to cover my hands up because I um, just did my self tanner, like getting ready for our trip. And I just feel like it's really obnoxious because I haven't showered or like washed it off yet. So just ignore that. I can't tell if it's bad or not. It doesn't look bad right now, but you never know. So just to point that out, I'm sure nobody was even thinking about that, but I was. Uh, let's swap these 50s out for 100. So I have 100, 200, 10, and 15. Thanksgiving, 100. Uh oh, we're almost out of hundreds. Um, oh, we can swap some of these 50s out for the hundreds I have over here. Perfect. 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. So let's swap these out for 220s. Some of these can go back to the bank. I'm building this envelope up because I volunteered to host Thanksgiving. I'm really excited, but I'm like, we need maybe a little bit more. So Black Friday, I actually think it's fully funded. Let's count it up. 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 500. So wheat. So we can stick a fully funded placeholder in Black Friday. So then after Black Friday, we'll start stuffing that again. But for right now, it's fully funded, so we don't need to keep stuffing it. All right, Christmas, we, and I did pull money out of here because I did a little bit of Christmas shopping already. So we have 15, 16, 17, 17, 50, 17, 55. So we are not able to condense this at all. New Year's Eve has 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85. So I'm going to get a better five for the sinking fund. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. Okay, 100, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 185. Fall, you guys, we went to the um, Minnesota's largest candy store and I didn't even spend all my money. Are you so proud of me? <laughs> I'm proud of me. Okay, let's put, mm, yeah, we'll put these back. These ones up here for our $1 savings challenge. 100, 250, 270, perfect. Winter, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So let's swap these tens out for a 50. Ooh, that one's like super wrinkly. Let's find a prettier one. This one's better. Spring has 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 105. Let's see. Hmm. Let's swap. So I'm just gonna, I'm stealing money from my piles over here. Still for spring. Summer has 15. This is my first time doing a condensing since I switched up my envelopes and it feels feels really nice. All right. Seasonal decor 100. <clears throat> I'm just going to swap it out for a 50. I don't I'll probably be spending this soon if we're being honest. I just picked out a home goods gift card for my Fetch Rewards. And so I do have a trip to home goods in my future. So I'll probably bring this envelope with too. All right, so 100, 152, 253, $320. I did just get, my kids have always wanted one of those like light up decorations for 
our front yard. So I did just get like a set of three deer from Sam's Club. It was 200 bucks. So I could take that out of seasonal decor, but I could also take that out of Christmas because our Christmas sinking fund isn't just for gifts. It's for anything that has to do with Christmas. So I don't know. Maybe we'll see how my trip to home goods goes <laughs> and if I spend all my money or not. Okay. So now I'm going to show you guys what I do with this cash once I pull it. And it's a little bit different depending on the category. And I also don't think I have enough of these zippered envelopes left. So this is my system and this is how I do it. I'm going to take some of these out because these can get put, that can get put up here. I'll move this up. So for example, like Christmas money gets spent decently often. So I keep that in our binder. So this 10th anniversary money we'll be taking with us on our trip. Wedding ring, I've put a pause on for now, so I'm just storing that money in here. This is our medical envelope. And I feel like I had some money to put in here. Yes, right here. Okay, so this money will likely go back to the bank pretty soon because it is kind of just like a safety net for medical expenses. And so it's not really anything I'm planning on spending soon. So I might actually pull this one out and take this money back to the bank. It's a thousand dollars, put this in our savings account. I think that's what I'm gonna do actually. And then I do have a different category to put in here. So I pulled 500 out of our hockey envelope for sinking funds. So 100, 152, 253, 354, 450, 500. So we spend the hockey money like relatively often. Like it's, it's not like, oh, I have no idea when we're going to spend this money or if we'll even need it. It's like we will need it and we will need it probably in the next month or two. So I just like to keep it on hand. So I just put that slip in there with my money. And I like this system because I don't have to like label the envelopes. I can just like keep these out separate. They store easy and they don't take up much space. So birthdays, I don't even, we don't have 500 in there yet. So I'm going to remove this out of there because we went under 500 in our sinking funds. So we don't need it anymore. And then what I'm going to do is I have vehicle maintenance money. So one, two, three, four, 500. Once this hits a thousand, I'll probably bring it to the bank. I don't think we plan on spending this anytime soon. So... But once it hits a thousand, I'll bring it in. Seasonal lawn care. Do we actually even have 500 in here? Let's look. Is seasonal, where is seasonal lawn care? I moved that one. I used to do this off camera, but I'm like, why? Why would I do this off camera? So I actually, we, I forgot we pulled out of here for that lawnmower. So 100, 200. So we do not have 500 in seasonal lawn care anymore. So I can pull this one out for now. We have one, two, three, 400, 420, $430 in seasonal lawn care. All right. Oh yeah, I don't have home renovations in here anymore. Doesn't look like we have 500 in there anyway. So these two can both be swapped out. This is another reason I like having my cash in here because I can do this easily without having to like make multiple trips to the bank. So we're gonna need Black Friday and then we also need, I thought I had one for hockey rink. Maybe I don't. All right, so I, must need to make one for hockey rink. So I'm just going to do this, even though it's not very aesthetically pleasing. But we're, we'll be uh, starting that process soon anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I do have one for Black Friday, though. So Black Friday, Friday is fully funded. So I'm just going to let that money hang out in here because we're going to be spending that. So that is my system for what I do with the money that I pull out of here. But like I said, when it's something like this, where I don't have plans of spending this anytime soon, it's just money that we have saved for our medical sinking fund. So if something comes up and we need that cash, 
um, we have it. So this I am going to put back in the bank. It's $1,000 and I don't have plans to spend it anytime soon. So I know most people, I shouldn't say most, some people, I'll close out this video by stuffing this while I talk. Um, I know that most or some people bring their, all their money back to the bank and I think that's awesome. The reason that my husband and I do this method is just because we're trying to create new habits and putting money into our savings, we would still find a way to spend it. It's just the habits that we're trying to change. So we do that by keeping the money in a binder, out of sight, locked up in our safe, guarded by our German Shepherd dogs. Because <laughs> I know I'll get comments about like money getting stolen and blah, blah, blah. All right, anyway, so I don't know how much I added in here. Probably like 7 or $8. So tune into my cash stuffing first week of November because I'll do an update on where I'm at with all these savings challenges in here. But when I do a condensing, I like to take out the ones and just put them in that savings challenge just because I think it's fun. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I know this video was a little bit longer than normal, but I hope it blessed you in some way, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video.